Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is time for our Monday Market Outlook video where we take a look at this upcoming week of FIFA 20 and kind of get you guys ready on what we could see with promos, with especially this week with the Ultimate Screen promo, SBCs, card movements, fluctuations, Team of the Week, ones to watch movements and everything like that. This week, we are in the second week of Ultimate Scream, and I wanna talk about some of the specifics with this promo, what content I think we're gonna see this week, and also what we know about when these cards are gonna be in packs, because unlike the first set of players, these Ultimate Scream cards are in packs for nine days instead of seven days. So they will go out of packs on Sunday at 7 p.m., 6 p.m. UK, um, and that's different than the first set because the first set was only in packs for seven days. This one's going to be in packs for nine. But also that first set with Zlatan, with the Guero, with James Rodriguez, those guys are coming back into packs at some point this week on Halloween is technically the date they will come back. So we're going to go over here to the EA website. This is on EA's official website um, outlining the screen promo. How long are the ultimate screen players in packs for? I mentioned this in a video earlier, but I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of this. The first 11 are in packs from October 25th, um, the start of Ultimate Scream until October 25th, so that was Team 1, and over Halloween. So then it says the second team of players will be in packs from October 25th until the end of the event. So right now we have the second team in packs, but the first team is going to go back into packs over Halloween. And this is very where it gets a little bit vague, because we don't know if that is actually just the day of Halloween. Or if that is like the day of Halloween and for the weekend. Because Halloween is a Thursday, October 31st. So that's kind of an interesting little take on those cards. If you want to try any of these cards, or even if you have some of them in your team, some of these cards' prices have actually dropped down a little bit already from a weekly sell-off. Not really that much, though. I mean, Romag Noise back up at 95. Zlatan was 255 a bit earlier. Hamas is about the same price. Odemeni's about the same. A lot of these guys haven't moved too much in price from like a weekly sell-off which I really wouldn't expect. I mean, a lot of people probably kept these guys in their teams. They're very good upgraded players, fun to use, I'm sure. Um, so I wouldn't expect too much of a sell-off on these cards, but it doesn't seem like everybody knows that these cards are going back into packs. So maybe you see a little bit of a sell-off leading into Thursday or um, when these cards would be back in packs. But if you want any of these guys for your team, you're gonna have another chance at getting them at a cheaper price when they go back into packs. It just makes sense, right? They're gonna go back into packs on Thursday. That means any SBC that we get, any pack SBC, or um, of course on the weekend, they're probably gonna have some promo packs in the store. People are probably going to be ripping open packs uh, because if they have a chance to pack not one, but two of the different um, sets of screen teams, if they have a, an option or an ability to pack some of those players, they're definitely gonna take that chance and probably uh, get some FIFA points on their account and open up some promo packs. I don't expect lightning rounds. Usually lightning rounds don't come until Black Friday. Those are the first lightning rounds of the year. Um, but maybe EA switches it up. Maybe they go full sellout and they do lightning rounds on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. We will see for this promo. But that makes me think that for this week's uh, Thursday flipping investments, we're not going to be looking at these cards like we once thought we were going to be. We once thought we were going to be looking at Deli Alley's uh, for a Thursday flip investment. Probably not anymore just because of the fact that these cards are going to be back in packs this week. So if you're looking for one of these in your team, I would say wait until this weekend, wait and see what happens. You might be able to pick them up at a cheaper price when they go back into packs. Now, considering this week of, stream, of Ultimate Scream, what kind of content do I think we're gonna see? So far, they're, it looks like they're gonna be spreading out the content over the second week um, more than they did the first week. Obviously, the first week of Scream was a Champions League week, so we had Champions League marquee matchups um, and another SBC that was Champions League related. So they put out two SBC players on the first day, and then we got the third SBC player, Hulk, later in the week. I think it was like Wednesday of last week. So this week, we only got one Scream player right at the beginning. We got Draxler. I would expect another SBC today on Monday. Some people are saying that Giovinco is going to be that SBC player. Um, but also there was that tweet by EA Help talking about the Fernandinho SBC. So I kind of wonder if that's going to be coming out this week as well. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open, our eyes peeled for that kind of stuff. And debating on whether we see a huge market impact from those SBCs, if it's a player SBC, the number one thing is, is it good value? That's just the, the best way to say it. Is that SBC good value? If it is, 
the requirements are going to go up because a lot of people are going to do it. Substitute players for that card. So if it's uh, a CDM Fernandinho SBC, you might see Fabinho's card drop. You might see even Conte's card drop a little bit, depending on the price. And you also might see some other Brazilians uh, or players that would link to him, maybe center back Oramendi, go up possibly with a link investment. So that it really just depends on this week. Whatever SBC, player SBCs that they put out, market movements are really going to depend on how just good value and how doable and how many people end up doing that SBC. So that's a gamble when you're investing in informs or investing in players for an SBC that you don't know for sure is coming. You really are counting on EA to drop an SBC that is good value. So far, the SBCs in this promo have been honestly pretty expensive. Hulk was decent value. Jesus Navas was decent value. But Draxler and Miller have been very overpriced. So we'll see what happens with those SBCs this week. And then I would definitely expect more promo packs in the store and more of the very cheap and easy SBCs to complete like this, uh, the Mummy SBC, like the Frankenstein, like the Van Helsingborg. Like those SBCs pay five to 10,000 coins and get like a 35K pack or a 35 or a 45K pack or whatever kind of pack it is. I would expect to see multiple of those SBCs this week as well. In terms of other content on the game, I do hear so, uh, some rumors about possibly a, another league SBC being uh, released this week. I remember in years past that when EA drops league SBCs, they kind of do so in like a short span. So we like get, okay, we get a league SBC here. A couple days later, we get a league SBC here. A little bit of time in between, another league SBC, another league SBC. So I don't know if there's an exact calendar that they're operating on this year, but some people are thinking we could get another league SBC this week. Some people are also saying that league would be the EFL championship. So if you think that you can make some investments there, it all depends. Again, if people are going to do that league, it's really got to be a, an English player to make it very doable or a player that is going to be easily linkable per uh, the nation. So French or, or like German, Brazil, maybe Argentinian, something like that. Um, then you might see some demand for an EFL championship league SBC. But other than that, this week should just be fun of scream, uh, fun filled with scream. I would assume that we would get some sort of SBC on Thursday with it actually being Halloween. Maybe they do something in the game. Maybe there's a kit SBC for another Halloween kit this week. That would be something that I would expect to see uh, as well. And then again, looking at these scream cards, whether you're looking at cards from the ultimate team scream, ultimate scream team one, or ultimate scream team two, I think you're going to wait on these cards at least a couple more days. These cards dropped again tonight during Squad Battle Rewards. Insigne is 800k. He dropped down like 100,000 coins. That's a massive undercut, actually. He's not actually 800k. No, that's a massive undercut. Uh, and I'm actually going to hop on the market right now while I'm talking about this. I can't even buy him. I don't have enough coins at the moment, which sucks. But in the case that Insigne would pop up for 800k, because that's what his price on flipping is, I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it. So if you're looking at any of these screen cards from this team or from the screen team number one, so team two or team one, um, you're probably going to be wanting to look to wait to buy those cards. I'm going to be honest. They're going to be in packs more. They're going to get packed. More SBCs are going to be coming out, especially for this guy who is just mad overpriced in my opinion. Adama Traore's card, 314,000 coins as shown on Footbin right now. Yeah, 319. Just crazy for this card. It's just so freaking fast. That's why people want it and people want to use it. He's got the two-star weak foot. So that is a big problem for a right wing card. He's got four-star skills, but he's a four-star weak foot and he's right-footed playing on the right side. So the cut-in stuff is not going to work really well for him. But a lot of people just sub that guy on a striker and he scores goals for them because he's just so freaking fast. He just blazes through in behind the defense. So that's what's keeping his card price inflated. Uh, and of course, he's Premier League, good nationality, very easy to link, stuff like that. So I think this card's going to drop a lot in value, though, because it's a card that a lot of people are, are trying. So it's going to be fluctuating a lot in value, but it's also one of the lowest rated, and it's a silver base card. So if you're packing a screen card from this set of screams, you're probably packing like Lac Salt, Adama Traore, or Saint Juste, because those are all guys that have. Um, I think Juice Day has a silver base card, so that just that just means that his the possibility for him to be packed, his pack weight, is just lower. To be honest, because he had, does have a silver card, Lack Salt as well. Uh, I think has a pretty low rated either gold or um, 
I don't think it's a silver base card, but yeah, 78 rated. This guy's like 34k or something like that. So not a lot of coins for this card, um, but these guys are going to get packed a lot. So some, I could definitely see some of these guys dropping. This is a possible investment for me. Left mids, left wings in the Serie A are pretty far between. I mean, you have Douglas Costa and that's about it. Not many other guys up there at a really high tier level. Um, since Insigne's position this year is uh, center forward, so you don't have him out there anymore. You do have like Douglas Costa, and that's that's kind of it. There's not that many other left wings, left mids that are of value in the Serie A. So I think this guy could be a decent investment. And then looking at the rest of the Scream team, again, just wait to buy some of those cards. Obviously, Firmino, it's, we're looking at Team 2 now. The most hyped up guys from this team would be Adama, Firmino, Insigne, and probably after that I would say Trippier. Adama, Firmino, Insigne, and Trippier. That would be the most hyped up ones in my opinion. Trippier at 70k, he's been holding there pretty well. So again, if you see that 50k, I'll be more interested there in that card then. But that's enough talk about the screen promo. That's going to, I think, take up the most of the week. I also want to take a look at some of these OTWs. Um, this week's team of the week is honestly not looking that hot at the moment. It's really not looking that good after I just looked through some of the results of the Sunday games. And if you look on Footbin at who they're predicting to be a team of the week contender over here on Footbin, uh, it is the under the live and then team of the week contenders up here at the top. Di Maria with three assists, Vela with his uh, the performance against um, the Galaxy. Obviously, somebody from the Leicester game is going to get in, whether that's Vardy, whether that's Chilwell, or whether that's Ayos Perez. One of those guys is going to get in from their 9-0 victory. I think Muriel gets in for sure. 7-1 victory. Pulisic is a, is a, a shoe-in. Um, Mitrovic is probably going to get in as well at hat-trick. It just seems like there's a lot of the lower-level guys that could get into this week's Team of the Week. Icardi had two goals. Somebody's going to get in from PSG, whether it's Mbappe, whether it's Icardi, whether it's Di Maria. It won't be Di Maria again. He's in the Team of the Week right now. He won't get back-to-backs. Rashford with a goal and assist. You might see him in Team of the Week. That would be a card that a lot of people would go after and would make the Team of the Week pretty spicy. But other than that, the Team of the Week is just looking, at right now, it just looks looks kind of meh, to be honest. And uh, that is not what you like to see on on this game, to be honest. You, you just really don't like to see that. But I want to talk about the ones to watch situation as well, um, especially with this Pulisic card. A lot of people are thinking that this card... I don't know how people think that it's worth 68,000 coins at the moment. If we want to take a look on the market at other left mids and left wings in the Premier League, which is basically where this card's competition is, what other left wings, left mids can you get in the Prem for a similar price? So let's go looking at this on a footbin. Left mids, left wings in the Prem. We're going to sort by price high to low. Sadio Mane, Bernard Scream, Leroy Sané, Martial, Felipe Anderson. This is in more of the range of those guys. Let's give let's give Pulisic his inform rating. He's going to be an 82 rated inform. He's going to get some decent boosts. He's probably going to have maybe similar stats to like Anthony Martial, way less shooting, similar passing, um, pretty identical dribbling, and less physical. So basically, a worse card than Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial, basically like two or three more pace. And Marshall is 28,000 coins at the moment. He's French. He's Manchester United. He's got the hype. Yes, Pulisic is American. He's Chelsea. So he's got a little bit of hype there as well. But this card at 68,000 coins, I think his inform probably won't be anywhere over like 30K, to be honest. If his inform is left wing, if it's not a different position, if it's Cam or if it's striker, that'd be different. But I think he played left wing during the game on the left side. Um, as long as it's not left Cam or something, we should be good. But... That would change his price a little bit if he was a central player. But as a left wing, I really don't see him being worth this many coins because he is going to be an inform, yes, so it'll make him more rare. But his stats just aren't that good. You can go get Felipe Anderson or Anthony Martial, who's going to link easier in a hybrid squad too if you need that. So I don't understand the hype around this card right now. It's 68K. After the hat trick, I mean, it's it's just got to be because he's a new player. He's, he's United States. He's on Chelsea. He's playing well. He's a new transfer. That's what these ones to watches are meant to be. So he's got the hype around him. Maybe that's why he's high up. He's actually risen up from his lowest point after the game. He was like 60,000 coins right after the game, a couple hours after. He's now risen up 
because you're going to start seeing him in team of the week predictions. His price is probably going to rise up into Tuesday. Please, please, please don't hold on to this card if you have it. Get it out. Take the coins. Take the money. You're going to be glad that you did, most likely. Because also, let's say that somehow he does get hyped up again for some crazy reason and his price goes higher. His price ranges are capped at 85,000 coins. So let's say you buy him right now at 68,000 coins. At the very most, yeah, you could make around 15,000 coins after tax for that card. I just don't see him getting back up to that range. I see him going downward and nowhere else other than downward, even though he does get the team of the week upgrade. So be very careful with that card. Icardi is an interesting one as well. He did get two goals. Do I think he's going to get in for him? I really don't know that he will. If EA wants to juice out the team of the week, and they like to they like to have good team of the weeks when they have a promo running. So it makes sense for them maybe to throw Mbappe in. It would be his first in form of the year. It could be interesting to see what happens with that. But I would sell this Icardi card as well. He's probably going to rise up a little bit into Tuesday from where he is at right now. It looks like he's around middle 60,000 coin range, maybe 60K. I would probably sell the card Tuesday if you have one in your club still, if you think he's going to get a team of the week, I would just take the coins because I don't think his inform is going to be around 60K either. I mean, you look at an inform that is very comparable to his right now, that would be inform immobile. Inform immobile's price on this game, if we can check it right now once after I get to the 59th. Yeah, so right now, Icardi's like 58, 59,000 coins. Let's go check on inform immobile, who is also a slow striker in this league. Inform Immobile, what is he going for? Slow Serie A striker, physical, powerful, good finishing. Oh, he's also 60,000 coins. And he's honestly going to have probably better stats than Icardi because Icardi has like, how much, how much pace does he have? He's got like no pace. So um, Icardi's going to have less pace. Wow, I just thought that Icardi was still in the Serie A. He is not in the Serie A. That is my bad. He is in the league on. So that is my bad. But Icardi has less pace, less shooting, and less physical than Immobile does. They are still comparable, um, but they're not in the same league as I was misinforming you before. I'm still in the old days, that's for sure, after or still thinking pre-transfer for Icardi. But I still don't see that Icardi card being, the inform being much more than honestly like 50K, 45 to 50,000 coins, even though he has PSG, he does not really fit the meta of this game. So if you have an Icardi wants to watch, if you have a Ben Yedder wants to watch, or a Pepe wants to watch as well, for some reason, now I understand why Ben Yedder's wants to watch is inflated. He did have a good game this week. He did score a goal. I think it's 327,000 coins. People think that he's going to get another inform. It's not going to happen. He just got in the team of the week. So I would sell this card on Tuesday as well, leading up to team of the week predictions. Might even take the coins now, 327k. Um, I think that's going to make his wants to watch drop, which is also going to make this inform drop a little bit as well, because if the wants to watch drops, that gap should still stay, stay the same since that is a live item and people know that he's playing well, could drop a little bit on Tuesday. The only thing that I would be careful for is that card, the OTW version of Ben Yedder could be a little bit inflated because some people might think that if he wins league one player of the month, his wants to watch might get upgraded. And I do don't know for sure that it, it does. I don't I don't think that it does. We've always had this question before. Um, if his OTW actually... You no, know, you know what? OTWs do get upgraded by Player of the Month. So if I do remember correctly, his, his, uh, his OTW card would get upgraded. So that could be intriguing. But I think you'll see it dip down a little bit. We don't have to worry about uh, that League One Player of the Month just yet. Uh, that'll be coming later down the line, I think. I'm going to do some research on that as well and make sure that that is 100% exact true with the OTW getting upgraded for player of the month. I'll do some research on that. But Pepe is still inflated from, he was like 130K from his Europa League games last week on Wednesday. He went up to 190,000 coins on the weekend. If you have this card still, you bought him at 130, 140, please get him out. He's not getting a team of the week. His his uh, performance was from Europa League and those games are not eligible for team of the week cards midweek. So again, it should be a fun week in Ultimate Team this week. Screen promo. Price is probably fluctuating all over the all over the place, like EA likes to have it do um, by putting out SBCs and all sorts of stuff like that. So it'll be a fun week to look forward to in terms of Scream SBC content. Hopefully something for Halloween, maybe a kit. Uh, I'm I'm kind of a fan of like a green Hall Halloween kit would be cool. Of course, SBCs and pl a good player SBCs along with that. But again, this week is really going to be made by those player SBCs. If they're good, good player selection and a good price, good value. 
then you'll see a lot of people interested in doing those and more market movements because of it. And market movements is most of the time fun, right? Most of the time. So that's the market outlook for this week. Um, lowest days in the market, probably gonna be middle week if we do get um, some sort of, again, pack SBC, you could see some panic on the informs, maybe some panic selling on some golds. And of course, we'll do Thursday rewards flipping this week, Stay away from scream cards, and we'll focus on out of the pa out of packs informs, and again, very meta cards used for week and league as always. We'll talk about that more as the week comes along. If you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.